Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's September the 22nd and we're beginning readings in the letter of Paul to the Colossians this morning, starting from verse 1. And what strikes me is Paul's prayer. Paul's prayer for the, for the Colossians is absolutely amazing. Let's, let's look at some of it. He says in verse 9, For this cause, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his wisdom, sorry, filled with the knowledge of his will, in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. Now that's a wonderful thing. What a thing to pray. What a thing to pray. He says that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will. And I can't think of a greater thing to pray for each one of you in the home Bible college than this. That you might know, that you might fully know what is God's will for your life. And in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. This isn't a flight of fancy. This isn't somebody having some crazy vision of their future. No. This is in all wisdom and spiritual understanding. In all wisdom and spiritual understanding. And so, and so my prayer for each one of you is that you might fully know the will of God in wisdom and spiritual understanding. Now that's just the beginning of the prayer. Let's read a little bit more. He says that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Pleasing to who? Pleasing to the Lord. He's saying I want you to live a life, a Christian life, in which you um, walk in a way that is worthy of the Lord Jesus and pleasing to him and then he describes something of that walk he says being fruitful in every good work fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God that you might be strengthened with all might according to his glorious power unto all patience and long suffering with joyfulness that you might be giving thanks unto the Father who has made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light who has delivered us from the power of darkness and hath translated us into the kingdom of the Son that he loves in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins now who has a prayer like that amazing let's just rethink let's recap on some of those things in this wonderful prayer that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work now if ever I pray for people of the home Papa college it's this I pray for that you might know God's will in your life and that you might walk worthy of the Lord pleasing to him there's my thought for the day God bless you look forward to speaking to you all again tomorrow have a wonderful day bye for now